Hello guys, how are you? I wish the best for you all. I hope you all be okay. Uh, for today, we have the refinery lecture. Uh, and especially we focus on the refinery processes, the main processes in the refinery unit. So, the result of the result of PVR, Sakhlamia, Kabash, Utanduristia, Kabash, Mahalahamia, Abrika, Kakada, Haskar, and the Hendak process at the refinery, the Haskar, inshallah, our process at Kumahai, with the focus here in a Sahanda Kishma, Halid, getting the Kumahai. So, different refinery processes. Uh, we have, as you know, we have many processes in the refinery unit. So uh, here we have the six main processes in the refinery. Uh, so distillation is the first uh, and the main process in the refinery. The first step in the refinery is that we can say distillation. And then other processes come after distillation process. Distillation, it means that separating the crude oil into uh, fractions, into products. Uh, you can produce many products in the distillation unit. So uh, these products are produced, or you can say separated from crude oil depending on the uh, boiling point. So each product has a specific boiling point. Uh, and it has a specific uh, volatility. So as you know, uh, distillation, we have two types of distillation in the refinery, atmospheric distillation and the vacuum distillation. Uh, so, uh, you know, the sun and distillation, uh, sample distillation, fractional distillation, the <laughs> A steam distillation, vacuum distillation, uh, and the basket, inshallah, the top seal, uh, also an atmospheric distillation, vacuum distillation. Another process in the refinery, we have the cracking process. Uh, so, cracking, uh, you can define it uh, as the breaking of heavy hydrocarbon fractions into lighter products. Uh, so when you have the heavy uh, product, especially the residual from the atmospheric, the bottom of the atmospheric insulation column or vacuum insulation column, this residue, uh, you can produce uh, many more products from it uh, by cracking one method to produce more product from the residue. And also not only a residue, but, uh, but also uh, maybe other uh, side stream of the distillation column you can correct. Cracking, a process in the first distillation, a process of the beta product like a heavy, the beta is the product that lighter. Jedar Bechi, a medbena cracking. Tabahan cracking, a matutoid bit saraki, may a thermal cracking or catalytic cracking. Thermal prepa garmotie, and I'm cracking the budget again. Catalytic cracking, peripheral catalyst, like cracking the bull product, the check out to the one other product, it's a vector general cabin, house of an gozul. Another process is the upgrading or reforming. So, reforming means a rearranging of molecular structure of hydrocarbons. Only you are reform the molecular structure of compounds. Uh, reforming, yani shebeji dobara ek hastena structure hydrocarbon, molecular structure hydrocarbon, 
ری آرنج نیگه دوباره یک هستن هم مولیکیول ری جوی Another important process in the refinery is the separation Separation it means that a removal of impurities especially some like sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen or metal, other metals in the crude oil So separation it is a very important process in the refinery unit uh, for removing the impurities from uh, crude oil. Uh, it means about a removal of water or uh, toxic gases or metals or uh, sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen. So these impurities must be removed from the crude oil and then enter the other process in the refinery. At the refinery, Bonaman, I can envision each process of the distillation. The distillation of crude oil is the column of the لازم بهتر ریموف یعنی آب جه بهتر ریموف کردن گاز جه بهتر ریموف کردن او بانمان هم بیجین میتال یانجی وقت سلفار و اکسیجین و اوانید اب پنتامین هم کتاتی به جه بهتر ریموف کردن اوید کیره را مثلا پروسیس ها سیپریشن این ها در پروسیس این در فانیلی زیده بلیندنگ او یو کن سی میکسنگ میکسنگ او uh, different uh, streams, the mixing or combining of different uh, streams, different uh, products, combining of different products uh, to give the final product with the desired uh, specifications. A blending what are monoway any mixing on bonamana your fraction of jobs. Streamed jawas, producted jawas, mixing go on, combining go on to give final product. Go product a keep that of man with the desired specification of our specification at Madrid. And also, we have the utilities actually in the refinery process. So, utilities provide fuel for power or steam. Uh, utility. با مچه دی آمادت کرد تو محتاجی بلکی فیوله با الیکتریسی و پاور سو تو معا مثلا ستوریج کواتت بوده او فیوله که تو محتاج تو محتاج در پیویستی پیه بوده آمادت کرد بانمونه بید با ریفاینر یک خوکیم پیویستی در فیوله های یعنی جید بید با پاور و اکمه بود الیکتریسی و آوانه کنیم سو دیس آر در سکس مین process or a finally process and also each of them uh, can be classified into other uh, groups uh, or other uh, processes as process it my good in yani ever hand that you should want process it's like in it from a refinery the high how about what you move with your other energy had a fish one or hash to myself and love it john bottom and administration it be the zoo type of installation in urban cracking may thermal cracking catalytic cracking and so on so first of all uh, we'll talk about the distillation and atmospheric distillation uh, so atmospheric uh, distillation is preceded by a dissolving unit uh, actually as you know as i said previously before the crude oil enter the distillation tower, this crude oil must be separated from any other contaminants, especially salts, water, and, uh, and salt. Very crude oil is very important to be removed from the water, salt, or solid, and sulfur, and oxygen. If it be a remover, also then all of we, let's make it be a remover. So this is done by a dissolving unit. So before the crude oil enters the distillation column, it must be processed in a dissolving unit. So actually, we have two main dissolver. We have two uh, two types of desalter: chemical desalter or electrostatic desalter. 
In chemical uh, desultact, uh, chemicals are added along with the water to uh, facilitate the separation of salt water from crude oil. So especially uh, surfactants are added as a chemical uh, for a removal of salt water, and then this crude oil will send to the settling tank and the uh, salt water will be easier removed from the crude oil. The chemical desultory, the chemical and the chemical, the chemical and the surfactant, the gel of it, the chip that is sonated out of the salt water, sonated away, removed the gel, which is the settling tank, or whether it is the salt water, the gel, the settling. And also, we have the electrostatic desultory. In electrostatic desultory, there is a strong electrostatic charge in the vessel. So this electrostatic charge uh, can combine the droplets of salt water and also will be easier, uh, these droplets will be easier removed from the crude oil. Electrostatic desultory uh, charge against the muscle and one we can zone kaharab droplet of the chilica, the gain in the egg, or the moike they separate them, they remove them. Uh, so one another important point is the design of atmospheric column. So the, at, uh, the distillation column and insulation column is divided to two sections. We have two main sections. But these sections are very important, you must be known. The section above the feed tray is the rectifying section. What is the feed tray? The feed tray is the tray where the crude oil enters the column. We call it the feed tray. So the section above the feed tray is the rectifying section. And also the section below the feed tray, we call it the stripping section. How about the distillation column I give a and she divided again to two sections with Sarah. May he feed the tray, what our tray, our cocoa oil, the holy column in Eden. I mean, patient every feed the tray, the ribbon, schneider gave the tray. Our section at the feed the tray, and the direct upon section, our commissar of the Amar Po, of the crude oil, the holy tower it beat, our component at light, a yaksarat bana vapor, a constructed banish crude oil. I'm the vision of the point section. I have it bend on. I have the avid head at the bend, be the trade and be in a stripping section. So these compounds are stripped by high temperature. So we have we have two main types of condenser with the atmospheric core. The total condenser, the partial condenser, uh, especially at the top of the uh, tower to uh, convert uh, the vapor hydrocarbons into the liquid hydrocarbons. So the total condenser condenses all the vapor leaving the column, condenses all the vapor into a liquid, while the partial condenser condenses only. Uh, part of the liquefy on the part of the uh, vapor leaving the column into the liquid. The uh, column is this condenser made, it be the object to do the condenser. Total condenser, Hemi our vapor rush, Tower direct cabin, it got a liquid. Halbata, you must be now. Always, portion of this liquid must be recycled to the tower. We call it a reflux. Daiman Bashaki, a real liquid condenser produced cat. Um, at the Zavarin Nava, both our invasion are reflux. So, why we have the reflux in the distillation column? To control the pressure and temperature of the column, and also uh, to provide the product 
uh, with the desired specifications, or you can say uh, pure, purify the uh, product. I'm a partial condenser. طبیعی بشکی کتا ویبا پورا اشکولو میتد بشکی کتا لیکوید و بشکی دی هرد میمید فیسی با پورا او فیسی با پورا ام پرودیوست که وکی پرودکت ام دیبیجنی اوباریید پرودکت اوید بیتا لیکوید دی سرمی اویل زبر این افکولو میبا ام دیبیجنی اوی آریفلاکس او ریفلاکس ها بود چه داکو پرودکت دا پاخشتر برکرید یعنی دیبیت تا پرودکت کرید بس وی پرودکت هشتا تو چه بیجی کمپوننت دیگر گلده های وقتی تو زفرین یا تاوری دادی پیوری دیاوی لزیده دارید اوانه تنه دو جوره کندنسری می تایی لازم این بزانم بس هر کش کشوانم ما بشکی ویدی که ویدی اتکتا ریفلاکس سو دیس آر فور پارامیترز بعد وی کان Control the behavior of the distillation. Dear students, you must be know how the distillation column can be controlled. I mean, the behavior of the distillation column, uh, which means about the pressure, the temperature, this behavior of the distillation column, how can be controlled? So maybe sometimes the pressure. Uh, will be too much or, or the temperature will be too much or will be too low. So how you can control the behavior of the distillation problem by these four parameters. So make these parameters, make it as a story in your head. In the distillation column, you have the feed flow. The feed flow means that the crude oil, which is entered the distillation column, we call it the feed flow. So by this crude oil, you can control the pressure or the temperature of the column. Uh, so if the feed flow too much, then the pressure will be high, absolutely, or the temperature will be uh, low. So by the feed flow, you can control the pressure or the temperature of the, of the distillation column. And also the reflux ratio. The reflux is the amount of liquid that is recycled back to the distillation column. By this reflux, also you can control the pressure or the temperature of the distillation column. And also the product stream support means that in the distillation column, we have the side streams. Each side stream produces a specific product, like naphtha, gasoline, kerosene, jet fuel, diesel, and so on. So by these products, by these streams, you can also control the pressure or the temperature of the distillation column. And also we have in the atmosphere, in the, in the distillation column, we have the reboiler up flow. Don't the student, and dear students, don't forget, please. Atmospheric distillation ha have the reboiler, while in the vacuum distillation, we don't have the reboiler. Instead of the reboiler, we have the steam, uh, which is injected into the distillation core. So remember, atmospheric distillation has the reboiler, while the vacuum distillation doesn't have the reboiler. I want to tell you my good short parameter may time for a machine control of the habit of the station column it every day. Our crude oil muscle and our body column it did shape it and pressure of pressure is a day game game. Our reflux it to the sovereign yard column it is a shape it to have to make temperature of pressure of the habit of the station column it day on your product that Kevin یانش برای آری بولری شی تمبریچر اکید تو زیادت که چون که آو واپو آو واپوراش ری بولری که درجه و حرارت اجرا رو دارن تو شی بوده درجه حرارت دیسا زیادت که یا شی بونم من برای فلکس درجه حرارت کم میکنه فیت فلوت شی کم میکنه سوابق آو کارمیتره نیت کرد شی 
كنضروا لسان كولون ميديتي and also we have the another type of distillation in the refinery which is the vitreum distillation vitreum distillation uh, this is when we have the heavy products uh, when we want to convert these heavy fractions of crude oil into lighter uh, products طبعا يمكن دسريشن مما اللي وقتي وقتي ما عندك برودكت قابلية تي في بعد بيت أنا ما عندك برودكتات سبيك الشعب تي في دار بيحين جاي بسرعات بكين خاصة غازولين يعني جيبون من عندي بيجن غاز أو يال ما بيت أنا مش الرصيد جوي أتموسفيري دسريشن كله من دار بيحين دائما أو تي في بما تي تفاصيل دسريشن أو الرصيد جوي أتموسفيري دسريشن كله من which is heavy, which is heavy. So uh, in the vacuum distillation, actually, uh, the temperature may be the same or uh, around the temperature in the atmospheric distillation column. But the difference in the pressure, uh, in vacuum distillation, the pressure inside the column is reduced. So uh, the components will be easier to extract uh, from the heavy fractions. Uh, so we have three types of vacuum uh, distillation. Uh, one of them is the dry vacuum distillation. Dry vacuum distillation means that without the injection of steam in the distillation hole, so there is no injection of steam in the hole. Vacuum agutiyabal vacuum distillation is ma reboiler reboiler manina. The vacuum distillation is shina. Vapor, basic hydrocarbon, and the vapor is a column of steam. The very enjoyable thing is vacuum distillation. Type of may have vacuum distillation without the injection of steam, and there is a dry vacuum distillation. Wet vacuum distillation means that the steam is injected both in the bottom of the distillation column, or you can say stripping section of the column. And also in the furnace. So we call it wet vacuum distillation. Semi wet vacuum distillation, it means that the steam is injected in the column only in the bottom of the column, in the stripping section of the column. And also we have the four main products of the vacuum distillation uh, unit. Uh, light in, it means that the product that is uh, produced at the top of the column. Uh, the light products, maybe some of them are gases or naphtha. And also, uh, gas oil is the main product which is produced in the vacuum unit. And uh, we call it a vacuum gas oil, so maybe uh, light or heavy. And also, the residue uh, at the bottom of the vacuum column, we call it the vacuum residue. Uh, so, main components of the uh, distillation column. So, these are, uh, these are the main components that we have in the uh, distillation column. Uh, dear, uh, dear guys, please be aware, uh, upon it, honey, ما هند كومبوننت سرقي تاي الدستيليشن كولومي دا لازم اينا وان كومبوننت اب باشا بزانا كان الداخلية دستيليشن كولومي ما تشهي سو وان اوف ديم از ذا فيرتيكال شاب فيرتيكال شاب از ذا بلايس وير سيباريشن اوف ليكويد كومبوننت از دان وي كول ات فيرتيكال شاب ذا سبيس بيتوين ذا تريز or the, uh, between the trays, or you can say between the plates. At this space, we call it a vertical shape. So at this space, separation of liquid components is done. And also we have some internals in the column, like uh, trays or plates, and also sometimes patterns are used in the column. So at the main, target of using this internals in the column is to, is to enhance separation of hydrocarbon components. 
to make intimate contact between liquid phase and the gas phase by the uh, trace or plates or patterns. And also, especially in the atmospheric distillation, we have also a reboiler. Uh, this is a reboiler to provide the necessary vaporization for the distillation process. At the reboiler, there is a high temperature in the reboiler. So uh, the residue at the bottom of the distillation column is sent to the reboiler, then at the very high temperature, this crude oil or this residue is converted into the vapor component, vapor hydrocarbons, and then are sent to the uh, distillation uh, column. And also, as we said previously, we have the condenser to pull and condense the vapor leaving the column uh, to convert this vapor into the liquid phase. And also, we have the reflux drum. This reflux drum uh, hold or store the uh, condensed vapor from the top of the column so that a liquid or reflux can be recycled back to the column. Uh, so the main target of reflux uh, is to make our products uh, purify and also uh, to control the behavior of the column, like temperature and pressure. For ideal reflux, our purity of product is adapted. We can create a product that has a component that product that has a delta element. As a way to jar up the exhaustion of colony, the key purity of the internet, or find the general plan to change control of temperature of pressure of colony. I wanted to have a pinch component that serves in a combined distillation colony. So, uh, as we said, uh, we have many processes in our refinery. Uh, uh, we discuss about the distillation unit in the refinery, both types, atmospheric and vacuum distillation. Another process in the refinery is the thermal process. So this process is very important when you want uh, to make a lighter product, to produce a lighter products from the heavy fractions of crude oil. A thermal process available in the or residual aromatic uh, atmospheric distillation colony and our residual vacuum distillation and that the initial product is a chicken and in a thermal process. What a breaker thermal breaker germotier, the shame product of lighter jedari. So we have two main thermal processes, this breaking and delayed cooking. This breaking uh, is a mild form of thermal treatment. It means that uh, it is not like the light cooking. Uh, uh, there is a high temperature, but not like the light cooking. In the light cooking, uh, there is a too high temperature. There is too high temperature. While this breaking, and this is why we call it mild form of thermal cracking. So, this breaking, uh, beside the benefit of it from uh, producing the lighter products, especially the main target is to produce gasoline uh, from the heavy fractions, and also it reduces or allows the viscosity of this heavy uh, crude oil and also reduce the power point of oxygen residues because the temperature is too high, so it will reduce the viscosity of crude oil and also the power point of residue. And also, the light cooking, uh, there is uh, too high pressure, too high uh, temperature, and it takes too much time. Uh, this is the difference between the spirit and the light cooking. So we call it as a similar method of thermal cracking. 
uh, and also the main aim of uh, delight cooking is to produce uh, gasoline and also many other uh, light products uh, from the heavy crude oil procedures. And finally, we have five main catalytic processes. So we discuss about the distillation process in the refinery, and also a thermal process. We have two types of thermal process, the spiriting and the delayed coating. And finally, we have another process in the refinery, which is the catalytic process. And also we have many another process in the refinery, but these are some of them. So the five main catalytic processes are these. Uh, these catalytic processes, the main target behind them is to produce gasoline. One of them is the fluid catalytic cracking. The uh, fluid catalytic cracking, process fluid catalytic cracking, catalyst fluid solid. Recovery core of a catalyst to the shape cracking a boavi product decay with fraction of the heavy could be shape product that is the light as a very fast and vision goes with it. And also hydro treating it means that it means that hydro treating as the hydrogenation, it means that hydrogen is added in the process. So hydro treating. Uh, always uh, must be done before any other processes. Why? Because in hydro treating process, the contaminants are removed, like sulfur, nitrogen, metals. These contaminants must be removed before this crude oil entire other processes. So hydro treating it means about the removal of these impurities, and also. In the hydro treating process, because we add hydrogen in the process, so uh, unsaturated compounds are converted into saturated compounds. The process of hydro treating, for the way, in the ambition, because the hydrogen that is affected in our Compounded mehay, fasatan abet aromatiki, yan jambejin olipid, abet unsaturated, and with boring bo paraffinic, yan jambejin yet saturated. A vehicle bo ship vea, or what a quality or fraction of the bo salvegat, we are duyeji, we can have with it the processed or contaminated mehay bo nomina, we can solve for you, we can oxygen abonatani, removal. And also we have the hydro cracking. Hydro cracking, that is the process of producing light products from the heavy products. Uh, so also in, in this process, we add hydrogen, and also um, it means about breaking the heavy fractions of crude oil into lighter products. And also catalytic reforming, it means about, as we said previously, are arranging the molecular structure of hydrocarbons, uh, like isomerization with other reform. Uh, alkylation, this is also an important process in the refinery, uh, especially when you want to change the uh, light product into heavier product. Uh, this is opposite the uh, hydro cracking. Uh, uh, why? Because we want uh, to change a light product into heavier product, uh, especially as you know, uh, there is a high demand on the gasoline. So, if you want to change the naphtha into gasoline, and also by alkylation process. I wanted any batch process at Saraki when it comes to this ambition of a couple of processes, which are one process of Rota and Mahkoja Catalestina, and one process of it. أباك الحد حسب ميتين قمعة أبريكا الريفان اللي هي الثيوري إن شاء الله محاضرة كذي من هذه بالصار دو تجديد عملية مهم أوجي طبعا ما 
تقریبا کتری دوباره کردی بس می چی بگیری یعنی من نشم فرق بین هوا هندک می حاضر کردی دو تجربه دو عملی انشاءالله هم دی اوی که اینت متین یا کردی دو سو ناو گود بای and may Allah protect you all and give you happiness goodbye dear students